This is our American dream. Riding on the ragged edge of existence. Boundless and free on highways and back roads that wander through the stunningly diverse country that we call home. The dream beckons us forward, whispering to us as we ride down unmarked roads, to places that once perched on the edges of our imaginations. Our lives are a rose-stained montage of beautiful and ordinary moments, deeply meaningful and desperately fleeting. Our stories are not fairy tales or fiction, rather true and honest experiences, brought to life by our desire to chase down the American dream. From sunrise to sunset, from sea to shining sea. To each of us, the dream is different and distinct, but it has a common purpose, to show us what might be pull back the veil of the ordinary, to reveal something extraordinary, to take us to all those places we have not yet been, to show us we can do more, see more, feel more, be more. It's the dawn of a new era at Harley-Davidson. Together we dream, and united we ride. When I ride a motorcycle, I get very emotional. Especially when I go to national parks. Because it was something that me and my dad would always do, and even as a little girl. I miss him. Most people ride to escape. I ride to connect, to discover and find. I ride towards something, always, never away. I think the best way to experience nature is on a Harley Davidson. It's a way to connect people back with the land and back with what America really is. It's vast and it makes you feel small and it humbles you because the trees are so big and so dense. To be able to be up here with Mike, it's an amazing thing to come and share something so beautiful with someone I love. There's parts of this country that I've dreamed of riding before, and this is one of them. To travel to these places that you only have visited in your mind is an incredible thing. And to do that with Letitia is unbelievable. It connects me to my past. It connects me to nature. 
It connects me to my history, my legacy that I hope to leave behind, to my future, to the people that I care about. It just connects me to the world. It's vulnerability and intensity mixed together. Something that makes you feel alive beyond what you could ever comprehend. These are the kind of places that make you fall in love with America again. Yeah, my dad always taught me to ride towards what I love and towards my dream. He told me to ride towards my passion. Full throttle, no looking back. That's what I've been riding towards every day since he told me that. There's no better way to see a country than on a motorcycle. You're riding through it, you're smelling it, you're feeling it. I ride because of the freedom it makes me feel, just like when I was a kid on a bicycle. The outdoors, the wind, the sun on your skin, and that's what keeps me getting back on the bike, to feel that freedom. You get to see such a unique landscape, pretty special. Growing up, I was always with my dad. I was fishing, boating, riding. I grew up in Saigon, which is, you know, bicycle, motorcycle, just the way of life there. And soon I came to the United States, I bought my first motorcycle in 1984. Growing up, I think it's natural. You want to do everything your dad does. Started with the hunting, then fishing working on cars, and then he gets his motorcycle, and you're like, oh, I want to ride this thing. And I know I'm 15 and I can't, but I still borrow it. He brought it back in one piece, and that's how I learned. He was really good. As soon as I turned 16, I get my motorcycle's license, and then we're back to doing things together again, riding motorcycles together for fun, just like we would do fishing or hunting. That's like uh, I grow the tree, now the tree have fruit. And now, he better than me. When I was a kid, my dad would say, I'm his shadow. And now, with Rumi, my son, he's exactly my shadow too. And so as I'm getting older, I'm like, wow, this is a really special thing to see my grandpa and then my dad and me have this generational, beautiful dad relationship. Seeing Corey right in front of me, leading me, made me so happy. Seeing my dad behind me, it, it just brings me back to childhood. It's just such a special thing to see him supporting me. And then one day, me be behind Rumi, teaching him how to ride, riding with him, and then him getting better and then carrying over that tradition.
25 years ago, Harley Davidson Custom Vehicle Operations was born out of the desire to create the ultimate factory custom motorcycle. Over the years, the boundaries got pushed further and further. The best paint, the best performance, the best audio, and each bike really seemed to have outdone the one that came before it. Today, CBO truly represents the pinnacle of Harley-Davidson design, of Harley-Davidson craftsmanship, innovation, and performance. In 2023, we really broke the mold. Uh, we introduced two entirely new models into the CVO portfolio with a completely reimagined street glide and road glide. Every surface of these bikes was just entirely new. Introducing signature LED lighting that's seamlessly integrated with the lines of the redesigned bat wing and shark nose bearings. And all the bodywork was redesigned using computational fluid dynamics for optimal aerodynamic performance and enhanced rider comfort. We introduced the 121 Milwaukee 8 VVT engine. These bikes were now equipped with the highest displacement motors ever to ship in a stock Harley-Davidson touring motorcycle. And both bikes included fully adjustable inverted forks in the front and adjustable shocks in the rear that increase travel to three inches, which really significantly improves rider comfort and enhances the handling of the bikes. The crown jewel was the introduction of this new 12.3 inch touchscreen color TFT display. It's the largest of any touring motorcycle on the market. It's powered by Skyline OS, and these displays bring to life a suite of connected infotainment features that really enhance the riding experience. So this year, for the 25th anniversary of CBO, we are revealing four new models. Street Glide and Road Glide CBO models. CBO Pan America. First time we brought Pan America into the family. The star of the show for a lot of folks is the CBO Road Glide ST, our ultimate performance bagger. This year, our CVO Road Glide and Street Glide models come in legendary orange and our Copperhead Hue Shift paint schemes. We went back and looked at the second year that we did CVO in 2000, we had the Road Glide. This year, 100% felt like we really had to have the orange and black scheme to celebrate this anniversary. We wanted it for Street to reminisce the, the breakup in the colorway of the black and orange that was on that original motorcycle, but we wanted to add some more metallic flake to that orange to really bring out the highlight and bring out the new surfaces that we have on the bodywork. And we decided to go with a silver parting line painted graphic that's actually hand brushed with two different silver paints. The color, the scheme, the breakup, especially of the legendary orange bike, directly ties back to that second year of CVO, the first bagger CVO. In addition to the legendary orange colorway, which is both available on the CBO Road Glide and Street Glide, there's a second colorway, which is Copperhead. And Copperhead is this beautiful color that's just got this incredible flop on it, meaning that the paint travels from one hue to another. It pairs super nice with the Scorch Chrome finishes to create this really handcrafted, curated palette of a motorcycle for the riders. The CVO Road Glide ST was really born from the racetrack. You can draw a direct line from these bikes to the Harley-Davidson factory race team bikes. It comes fitted with a new Milwaukee 8 121 high output engine. It's tuned for even more horsepower and more torque and equipped with a high performance camshaft, a performance air intake, a 5,900 RPM red line. It even has a special ride mode for the track that was inspired by Kyle Wyman's personal settings. So the 2024 Road Glide ST comes in two colorways, Raven Metallic and Golden White Pearl. The graphic scheme on it, the Drop H logo, as well as the Screaming Eagle iconography, really comes from the race bike. The red detailing that you see comes from a pivot that we're making with our ST line of motorcycles, which up to this point has been bronze as the accent color. You would probably argue that another color on the motorcycle is the beautiful forged carbon bits, but that's a real functional element. On the front fender, the console, the muffler, end cap, and the seat cowl are all made from forged carbon fiber and a satin gloss. It's something that screams performance, any carbon fiber does, but this being laid in there organically, no two patterns or no two parts are gonna look exactly the same. I think 10, 15 years ago, somebody had said, in the future, there's going to be an Harley Davidson adventure bike. We might have been surprised by that. If that adventure bike was going to also become part of the CVO offering, I think a lot of people would have been surprised. 
that's just part of the excitement of the kind of newness. Every year brings something new. We noticed since we released Pan America that people are customizing Pan Americas. It's the only adventure bike that I've ever seen that gets fully customized the way they're getting customized, which is a testament to our customer and to our brand. And I think it really says a lot about the people that choose to ride our adventure bike. They are as passionate about the adventure and the functionality of the motorcycle as they are the customization, which you just don't see with any other adventure bike. With the CVO Pan America, we've taken our incredibly capable adventure touring motorcycle and enhanced it doing some things that, that really only Harley-Davidson can do with an adventure bike. It comes equipped with rugged aluminum top case and side cases with a Screaming Eagle quick shifter, a muffler guard, a skid plate, a radiator shield, and auxiliary LED lighting. It's got the lowered adventure windshield and heated grips and a tool kit designed specifically for the Pan America. Really, truly is the ultimate adventure bike from Harley-Davidson. We have this great anniversary paint scheme. There's a predominantly very strong dominant number one that courses the 1969-70 Mert Lawwell number one. Legendary orange is the color with Atlas silver, which is this beautiful wet slide detail that looks like almost like spun aluminum. And then it's all backed up with Raven metallic, which is like a dark black with a beautiful flake. Of course, the, the kind of the fourth and final paint job will be snow, rain, mud. The more dents and mud and scratches we put on the bikes, the, the better. You know, you know, they kind of give you the bikes a great patina. That's adventure touring. We always want to nod back to some of our history and celebrate it, but we want to put like a modern spin on it. It's very fitting for the 25th anniversary to have such a stellar lineup like this from adventure touring, Grand American touring riding, all the way to something you can take on the track. Considering that every year we try to do multiple things with the CVO family that are mind-blowing, to do that many things over 25 years, that's quite a feat and a testament to everybody at the company for the passion they have for CVO and the passion they have for making the best factory custom motorcycles in the world. The point of writing is not to escape. It's more like just reconnecting with myself in a very real way. That quiet time to just feel like I'm truly in this world. When I'm on the bike, I can collect my own thoughts and feel like, yeah, I'm really here. I'm smelling the environment around me. I'm feeling the temperature. I'm sensing the speed. There's just so much more dimensionality to a bike like the Pan America. You're not confined to even pavement. You can pretty much go anywhere you want and get out to these places where you're not going to have reception and you're just going to be there providing for yourself, cooking something simple and sleeping on the ground. It speaks to this whole American kind of like John Wayne aesthetic that I really am drawn to. The only way to get that authenticity is to actually go out and subject yourself to some of these things. Inevitably, you're faced with something that you didn't anticipate at all. You have to get out of your own head a little bit, work it out, improvise, or tough it out. If you're on the dirt, you're standing. And when I'm standing like that, I feel so like weightless and comfortable. I'm so relaxed. I'm just like floating. The individual components of the bike have a lot of Harley Davidson DNA, but they still have this very honest design language. And that's what really appeals to me. 
this country. It's super accessible with a machine like that. I still want to be able to challenge myself and go out there and do stuff that makes me grow as a person, builds character, and not just live your life in a manner that you look back on 20 years and you just feel like, whatever, I got a good job, I took care of my family, but I didn't, don't really have any stories to tell. Looking back, I feel like I accomplished something, I did something, I had to kind of overcome this or that challenge. I want that, I seek that. That's part, for me, of being alive and like being a part of the world.